thank you so much, uh, Tero, for your time, for taking time out for interactives. Uh, as a student, we are grateful for you to taking us time. So we've been come across this uh, Huckle app, which uh, integrates social media apps and now with AI also. So as students and as for entrepreneurs and for future journalists, I would like to know how Huckle as an app could help journalists, students, working professionals, how would, how Hukul could help? Okay, uh, first, thank you for having me here. Uh, and uh, yeah, so Hukul is a number one tool for users to grow 100 times faster on all social media platforms using just one app. So it kind of like uh, aggregates all of those social media platforms to be used through one app. And in a click of a button, you can create content in seconds with smart AI suggestions, schedule posts, and get, for example, more awareness for you or your brand on all social platforms around the globe. So to summarize these for users, it offers an incredible fast way to create and distribute content on social platforms without having to spend hours fine tuning captions for your post or getting it out quickly everywhere. So Hukul integrates all of social media apps, like which are the dominant or the most featured apps which uh, Hukul integrates? So Hook integrates with uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and also Google My Business, and uh, uh, what was missing, LinkedIn, yes. So okay. all of those. Oh, so it, it, in short, it is like uh, every other, every uh, most popular app, which everyone uses, like mostly it's all integrated in the Huckle app, correct? That, that's correct. Yes. All right. Thank you. Uh, then next question would be, uh, Tero, uh, what do you think about this uh, artificial intelligence, AI, like chat GPT, which is upcoming? And similarly, there are other competitors also for chat GPT, which could be upcoming in the market, which are already existing. What are your basic views on uh, AI like chat GPT? And could you like just highlight us? Yeah, so um, AI tools like chat GPT are great tools assisting you to be more efficient, saving a lot of your time every day. How I see it at the moment is that uh, it's not only another productivity tool, but it's an awesome productivity tool at the same time for you to make things faster. I really welcome the uh, productivity angle of AI tools for the business world and uh, for business applications. So they're really, really good. But uh, don't you think, Tero, there could be a downside to it, like uh, too much dependence on uh, uh, AIs, too much dependence on, for example, chat GPT, every other project, like there's no much of a hard work, people tend to be lazy. And so what are your thoughts about this? Well, I, I think in general, the, uh, the, it's, it's just another tool like the other tools that we have for business use or for, for whichever use. So, um, I mean, of course, uh, people can be like, you know, getting like addicted to, to some tools, games, whatever. But um, in general, I see that this chat GDP is really uh, kind of like welcome productivity tool um, in all of the tools that we have for business use, for example. So I, I don't I don't see it kind of like a uh, like that much as a bad side. All right. Uh, how will Chat GPT or any other AI help Hukul with its users or uh, working professionals or journalists? How will the integration of an AI help its users? Help you uh, Hukul subscribe subscribers. Uh, the integration of um, this open AI's chat GTP brings content creation to the whole next level in the Google app. So users can create highly engaging social media content with hashtags, emojis, and without typos extremely fast. So basically you just type a word or give a link and the AI generates the post for you in seconds. That's it. So it helps users tremendously and uh, quoting one of uh, our users, the best scheduling app with integrated AI content suggestions makes creating content so much easier. So this thanks goes to Martin King and uh, her feedback on Google Play. Oh, okay. 
uh which which app according to you is the best app nowadays or in the world currently trending for a journalist or for a business enterprise or for a company to reach help its reach its target audience for example instagram or twitter you know twitter is coming up with this uh, tick mark blue ban and then tomorrow it could be anything and you know you've been i'm sure you must have read the latest news about the tiktok bans going around in the world so what according to you which app is the best suitable for journalists or uh, future working professionals? Well, yeah, of course, like it depends on many factors, first of all, and uh, also what you count as a social media platform. So, but for example, uh, for business, uh, businesses, it depends on the field that they are in. For some consumer businesses, Facebook or Instagram is the best, while for some uh, business to business companies, LinkedIn is the best. However, in general, the most popular platforms in the world are still Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Oh, so you think like uh, even in Huckle, uh, many, many people are using uh, uh, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube for their posts regularly on a regular basis? Yeah, like for, for businesses like Instagram and Facebook, also YouTube, they are, and those are the, the most used uh, platforms anyways, and po most popular. Right, right. And uh, could you just let us uh, give us a, a highlight on the ethical, the possible ethical and misinformation uh, surrounding around AI generated social posts? Any highlights on this? Yeah, uh, well, there are always like some concerns about these ethical issues concerning AI in general, like privacy related, plagiarism related, manipulation of behavior, and opacity of AI systems. But in brief, uh, what comes to ethical issues with AI-generated social posts. In my opinion, AI is uh, just another tool to help users create engaging social posts faster. So that is, AI tools like ChatGTP are helping to create posts, not publishing the post. So a user still remains in the core of reviewing the general generated content, how to use the content and for which purposes. And the same applies with misinformation too. Uh, it's in user's sole disposal to fact check the post before publishing it to social media platforms and whether to use it uh, or whether to use the content or not. So, any takeaways or giveaways you would like to suggest or recommend uh, uh, journalists or uh, uh, Instagrammers or uh, content creators as such? Well, of course, I, I, I recommend to, to try out our app because it's really... Uh, um helps you to to be more productive on social media platforms I'm sorry, which, uh, just... which i didn't hear which application oh I'm, I'm just recommending to to of course like people to try out a google application you know okay. it helps a lot with you know uh making yourself like more productive in on social media, many social media platforms at the same time with just one app and obviously nowadays that we have integrated this ai it really uh gives you the possibility to create the social media post in seconds and it's really like a, a engaging a post that this AI is creating also it's really relevant to to you or your business also so um, that's my regards oh definitely I will definitely try Huckle and my last question to you would be uh, as to, in terms of what is Huckle's approach to reach its audience what is the demographics of uh, uh, Huckle or uh, how do how does Huckle try to reach its uh, subscribers or users? So how how we are gathering like users? Yeah, like how so, do, uh, how do, uh, what is your target audience and how how would you promote Huckle to do you use any kind of social media apps or any kind of SEO to approach your target audience? Yeah, so uh, first of all, you know, Huckle is designed especially for small business use and uh, like. Uh, entrepreneurs and micro businesses, also some you know uh, self-employed uh, uh, persons and so on. And uh, how we are reaching the people, we we do have like a, our blog. So this content marketing is quite important. Uh, partly we use also some uh, paid marketing on Facebook and uh, Google platforms, partnerships and so on. So quite traditional methods also. The our uh, biggest kind of like users base is like in the US. 
and in UK. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, all right, then uh, that was enough for me, like as promised to discuss. Thank you so much for your time, Thero, and uh, wish you all the best for your future endeavors and hope we all start using Google someday. Thank you very much, Isvan, for the interview. Yeah.